Ryan Flowers with Miss Dog Geek here, and today we're looking at getting 5 watts out of the QCX Mini. Now, some people have had re uh, problems and they've reported issues. In fact, I myself have experienced the problem that on some of the kits, uh, when you use the desired amount or the, the specified amount of windings on L1, uh, 2, and 3, that you don't get 5 watts out. And immediately when I tried transmitting, I was getting 4 watts. And I thought, well, that's, that's good enough. But I know this thing can put out five. So I spent a couple of minutes, um, and what I did is I just plugged in this uh, uh, one eighth inch jack, three point five millimeter jack in here. And um, even though the display and the controls are off, but um, I got it set up for straight key, and then I just pulled the display so I could fiddle with these things. And uh, when I turn it in, when I put it on, uh, I'm getting uh, four watts out. So I started fiddling just using my little tweezers here to move these windings around. And by experimenting, I, I got like almost five watts just by moving these windings around right here. And then I got, I moved these around a little bit more uh, and I've got five watts out. So uh, next I'll show you how to keep it so that uh, for one, these things aren't flopping around, but also um, how they don't, those, those, those windings don't move around and reduce your power output. Because especially if you're on battery, as I plan to be, uh, then you're going to need that. And with this plugged in, by the way, I'm getting 5 watts. So next is to get all these things locked in place, and I'll show you the, the technique that I use, if you can call it that.